Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 12 things in the USA that puzzle foreigners. If you live in the USA, you probably find the things you do every day totally normal. But to somebody on the outside from another country, many of these things would be considered very odd. Every country in the world has different customs and ways of doing things. And oftentimes, to tourists and visitors, these things can seem weird. Well, today we're going to focus on just one country, the USA and the things they do that puzzle foreigners everywhere. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have prices. If you walked into a shop in most countries and bought something for $5, you'd expect to pay $5 for it. But in the USA, tourists may be confused when they pick up an item which says one price and then are asked for a different price when they go to pay for it. That's because in the USA, unlike most countries, prices do not include taxes. In most countries, what you see is what you pay. But in the USA, your receipt is likely going to be a lot more than what is actually listed on the item in the store. To make things even more complicated, sales tax isn't fixed. It actually varies from state to state, making it very hard to calculate for any outsiders. Next up is public bathrooms. Now, this is something I'm sure every tourist was confused about when they visited the USA. Around the world, public toilets offer a lot of privacy, but in the USA, this is just not the case. There are very large gaps on the sides and the bottom of bathroom stalls. It seems almost a quarter of the door is completely empty and you can see underneath it. Online, there are many debates about which kind of bathroom stall is better, but there doesn't seem to be one single answer as to why the USA has such big gaps in their stalls. Some say that the large gaps are for safety reasons, while others say that the large gaps are for cleaners to clean the floors more easily. And some also say it's to prevent people from using toilets for purposes they're not meant for. But I'm not sure what the main reason for the USA not wanting privacy in public bathrooms actually is. If you're American and you're watching this, comment down below telling me why you think this is. And tell me what you prefer, the world's toilets or the USA's toilets. Next up is drinking. In most countries, when you turn 18, you can go into a store and buy a can of beer. But in the USA, there's a good chance you'll be asked for ID. Apart from Saudi Arabia, which has banned all alcohol, the USA has the highest age limit for alcohol in the world. In most other countries, the legal age is 18 to 16. But in many countries in Europe, it would be very normal for a 15-year-old to drink wine with a family meal. But let's say you actually are over 21 and you go to buy a beer in the USA. Chances are, whether you're in a bar or a store, you'll be asked for ID. This concept is very confusing to many foreigners. That's because in the USA, people who are definitely over 21 will still be asked for ID in many places. So if you're from a different country and you're traveling to the USA, be sure to bring your ID. Otherwise, if you want to get a drink, you may as well be in the Saudi Arabian deserts. Next up is advertising. Now, every country has advertising, but there are some products and services you won't see ads for anywhere else in the world except for in the USA. One of these is pharmaceuticals. In the USA, if you turn on the TV, you'll see adverts for medication and pharmaceuticals. In most countries, your doctor tells you what pills you need to take. But in the USA, this seems to work the other way around, and people can actually recommend things they want to take to their own doctors. Foreigners will also likely be creeped out by the long list of side effects read out after the advert. Another thing you won't see in many other countries is adverts for attorneys. 60% of the lawyers in the world are actually in the USA, and America holds the number one spot for the most lawsuits filed out of any country on earth. That's probably why you'll see divorce attorneys, personal injury attorneys, and many other attorneys advertising all over the place in the USA. You'll see them on bus stops, billboards, and even on the TV. Next up is pharmacies. So we've already seen how confusing it is for foreigners to see pharmaceutical ads on the TV. But foreigners will be equally as puzzled going into an actual pharmacy. In pharmacies around the world, things like pills, ointments, and hygiene products are sold. But American pharmacies actually seem to be bad for your health. Pharmacies in the USA seem to sell, well, everything. But most strangely, they sell things like candy and sometimes even cigarettes. This is because in the USA, pharmacies double up as convenience stores. Many of these stores will also be open 24 hours a day, which is another thing which is very odd outside of the USA. Next up is greetings. 
this is something that always confuses first-time visitors in the USA. When an acquaintance or somebody working in a store says, how are you doing, they're not actually asking how you are. In most other countries, if you say to someone, how are you doing, they'll go into a big, long explanation about how they are. They may tell you what they've been up to and also how they're feeling about life. But in the USA, how are you doing simply means hello. So if you're an American and you're meeting a foreigner, don't ask them how are you doing. Instead, just say hello and how do you do? And if you're a foreigner going to the USA and somebody asks, how are you doing? Don't talk about your health or well-being. Just say, good, how are you? Next up is tipping. We've already seen how foreigners are often thrown off by the sales tax in the USA. But another thing that will confuse foreigners in the USA is the concept of tipping. In many countries, it would not be considered rude not to leave a tip after having a meal. If the service is good, you could put a few extra coins or leave the change on your table. But non-Americans will be surprised to see that sometimes you can tip up to 20% in the USA. And don't expect your server not to mention anything if you don't leave a tip. If you don't leave a tip, they may ask you on the way out, was everything okay or was something wrong? That's because tipping is seen as something you must do in America, not just something you do out of kindness. So if you're planning on visiting the USA, maybe take a few extra dollars along for the tips. Next up is Sir. If you travel to the USA, you'll likely be called sir or ma'am a lot. Well, don't worry, they don't think you're some kind of world leader. That's just customary in America. In the USA, especially in the South, it's very polite to call somebody sir or ma'am. However, in the rest of the world, this would be seen as very over the top. In the UK, school kids may call their teachers Sir and Miss. And when somebody gets an official knighthood in the UK, they are called Sir. But in the USA, you don't need to do anything to be called Sir, so don't take it the wrong way if somebody says that to you. Next up is food portions. For anyone outside of the USA watching the movie Super Size Me, they likely got a big surprise. That's because in most other countries, things like supersized meals do not exist. America is actually famous around the world for their gigantic portion sizes. To put that into perspective, a large in the UK is actually a small in the USA. Foreigners may also be surprised when they go into a restaurant and see 20 ounce steaks instead of 8 ounce steaks. To somebody not from the USA, a regular day may seem like they're walking through a carnival. But as long as you watch your waistline and don't eat too much, it can be a lot of fun to try all of these gigantic foods. Next up is coins. In most countries, coins get their name according to their value. For example, in the UK, there's things like a 1p coin, a 2p coin, a 5p coin, and a 50p coin. The same is true for euros and most other currencies, but not the US dollar. People not from the USA will be confused and won't know what a nickel, penny, dime, or quarter really means. A penny, which is one cent, and a quarter, which is 25 cent, is quite self-explanatory. But what on earth does a nickel or a dime have to do with 10 or 5? So if you're planning to travel to the USA, make sure you understand the currency before using it, otherwise you could get scammed. And finally on the list of American things that puzzle foreigners, we have waiters. When you finish your drink at a cafe or a restaurant in the USA, you may get refilled without even asking. But this won't happen in other countries in the world. Instead, that would cost you a lot of money. In restaurants and cafes in the rest of the world, refills are not free. Another exclusively American thing is waiters always asking how's your meal. Foreigners will see that waiters come up to them a lot during their meals. In America, this is considered good and attentive service. But foreigners may actually see this as annoying and think the waiter's disrupting their meal. One reason why waiters in the USA do this so much is because they want to get a good tip. So if you're traveling to America, bring your ID and bring a lot of money for a big tip. So it's clear America is a very fascinating and amazing country with some amazing ways of doing things. Some of these things, in my opinion, are really good. For example, the large food portions you get. And the free refills are awesome too. But there are also some very puzzling things, such as their public restrooms. If you want me to make more videos like this for other countries, comment down below. Vote in the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most puzzling thing about the USA to you. And if you're from the USA, vote for the thing you were surprised foreigners get confused about. If you guys want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.